vectors in R3. Given the point Q as 4, minus 5, 2, which lies in R3, draw the corresponding rectangular prism and label points M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T with their respective coordinates. Write an equation for the right side of the prism. So, uh, to do this question, I thought I will do it more accurately so that you understand what we are trying to do here. So, let me first make a plane uh, R3 here, coordinate system for R3. As we see, the point is 4, minus 5, and 2. 4 is along x axis, so coming outwards like this. 5 is minus 5, so we need more space on this side. And 2 is z, we need less space here. So, first thing, I always try to manage my space. So, what I will do is, I will draw it on this side, right? So, we have here. Now, as I have to go 5 units to left, then I think I may run out of space. So, I will take this as 1. So, let me just, just figure it out so that I can, st I think I should start from here. So, so what we have here, the 5 do, I have 5 units here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I have enough space here. That's very good. So, what I'm trying to do is, trying to make a scale so that I can fit in this rectangular prism in the very limited space I have. So, let me draw this. So, that becomes my y-axis actually, right? And then, for the z-axis, let me go like this, perpendicular to this. So I'm trying to show you how to really draw it to the scale uh, for the first time. Now, most of the time I've been doing very rough sketches. Now, now this is, I think, probably one of the best which may come out of all this. Right? So this is like one centimeter as you've seen. I've given markings for one centimeter. Similarly, I'll give markings for one centimeter on this side. And uh, then we will draw this. So we got one, two, three, four, five, and also on this side, right? And then we'll have z x-axis along this side. And let's say this is our x-axis. So let me draw a line here. And one, two, three, four, like this, right? So because we have four along this, well, let me mark fifth point also. So that is our coordinate system. Now in this coordinate system, we'll try to plot the point Q, which is 4 minus 5, 2. So when we say 4, that means, well, let me write down here, this is our Y, right? That is X. And this one I know is Z. Yeah. And that's the origin. Now when we start making, the first thing is, go 4 units towards positive x. That means 1, 2, 3, 4. So this is our first point and this point will be labeled as 4, 0, 0. Right? So that's the first point. And the second point will be minus 5. So minus 5 is along y but in the negative direction. right? So we will go parallel to, to the y-axis but towards the negative side. So that means 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we are here, so we draw this line, right? So this is our second point, right? So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, corresponding to this. So we have got the x, y, and we have to move two units up. But before moving two units up, it's a good idea to complete the base, right? So this is our rectangular prism. So let's complete this base, and, you know, this side will be on the other side difficult to see so we'll put it with dotted lines similarly this will be our dotted lines for the base right for our rectangular prism so let me draw this one with the dotted line right so we have the base and we can always name this later now we are here so if this point is 4 and 5 and z is still 0 for us so now what we do is we go two units up from here. Let me use different ink to go two units up from here. So that is here, two units. So this is two units. So this is point Q. So now we got the point Q for us. So we have point Q here, which is 4 minus 5 and 2. Now we can complete our prism. 
So let's go Q. That means two units up from all our points, right? So we have this two. So that makes the front of it. Let's make the front of it, which is kind of like this. So take your time in doing this rectangular prism and and then answer the other questions. So I'm kind of completing it now. And so we will go five units from here and complete the top. So here we have one, two, three, four, five. So we have here five. And we complete it this side. That's the top of our rectangular prism. All right? And yes. The back side we can draw in a different ink. Well, let me use the pink itself. Yeah, okay, now that is it. So we have done our prism. So this is the rectangular prism which is formed for getting the point Q. Now it's a good idea to label all the points. So when we started from the origin, this is the point O for us, right? So we went from here uh, to this point, let us say. So okay when we say okay this is the origin this point will be for us four units right so just four zero zero correct then from here we went to this point which is four and minus five zero correct and then we went to q which is four minus five and two correct so that is how we got our points. Now from here we can write all other points. This point is for us, we didn't move anything on X and Y, but there are two units, Z, right? So we get zero, two, right? And this point will be four units away, Y, no, and two for Z, correct? And so we got this surface and here this point should be equals to, so to come to this point, what do we do? To come to this point, we actually move along this direction, but we don't move along x direction. Do you see that? So to go to that point, we only move along so along y and this. So that is how we can get to that point. So and that is uh, okay. So let me write this as zero and the x minus five and two for us. And this point is only moving along y. So it is 0 and y is minus 5 and 0 for us. So like this, we get all our points. And this is, of course, 0, 0, the origin. OK, I wrote O first. OK. So that is our origin, right? Now we can put the points M and P, Q, R. So, so that means m n okay so we want to put q here so let me start with q r s t and then we'll we'll label the other points so let me use some other ink and let's say q is here so let's say we are starting from q so q and we got this point as r and let me call this as s and this point as t so we got the top portion q r s t and m n o p M N. Somehow I wanted to give this as O, but it doesn't match it. So, so we'll say M N. No, so M N O P. Okay. So we'll give this still O. Okay. So we'll start from here. Let's say M N O P. Okay. So this, these are our vertices, and all the vertices have been labeled, and their corresponding points are given. Correct. Now the question is write an equation for the right side of the prism now this, this is the main equation for which i did all this right now this is the right side of the prism so what am i looking at i'm looking at this side this this side do you see this side this side of the prism i'm looking at what is the equation of this side of the prism that is my major question answer this question write an equation for right side of the prism now that is kind of complicated so if you see the right side of the prism what do you notice so you see that x values here change from what to what so here x value is 
greater than or equal to 0, but they are less than or equals to 4, right? How about the y values? So y value in this place is what? The y value in this place, the whole plane is actually 0, right? If you see this, this part, right? That is for this. 0, 0, 0, 0. Do you understand these zeros? So these points which we are considering P, T, S, O. So we are talking about this plane which we, we say O, P, T, S. We are talking about this rectangle on the side O, P, T, S. Now here Y is equal to 0. And how about Z values? Z values are greater than or equal to 0 and less than or equal to 2. So that is how we are going to define this particular plane. Now this is what I wanted to explain you for which I did such a neat job. I'm impressed myself. Now <clears throat> so that is the answer for the part B of this question. Write an equation. It is a set of equation for x, y and z. Right. So this is the equation for that particular plane. Similarly, I'll appreciate if you could write equation for the front of this prism, rectangular prism, which is in this case P and Q T. So likewise, try to understand how to identify each face of your prism and how can you write an equation for it, correct? Similarly, it could be write an equation for the line ST. So it's a vector equation you could write for ST, correct? So this is another additional exercise which you should do while preparing for your test. I hope you appreciate. Thank you.